what appealed to infinite banking to you because you started doing it yourself personally you do it right so what what was why why do you do it well there, there's a there's a ton of different reasons um i i can start going through them but number one when we start looking at retirement every everybody like most pilots know they have to save for retirement but they don't understand how the distribution phase works at all okay and one of the biggest threats to your retirement assets is sequence of returns risk you know once you're in retirement and you're pulling income off of that portfolio and you guys talk about it all the time you know when it's in the market it could lose 20 percent. okay and you don't want to be pulling off that when the market's down 20 percent. well i think about infinite banking not only for all the other tools but it's a hedge against sequence of returns risk. It's guaranteed money. And I think 2022 was a, a great year for us to go, hey, even if you were a conservative investor with interest rates rising like they were, the bond prices were dying. They were going down. So even as a conservative investor, you could get yourself in a lot of trouble. But guess what? With overfunded whole life, it never goes down. That's your fixed income portion or your safe money asset of your portfolio. And I tell my clients, I'd like to have 25, 30% of all their assets in a safe money uh, safe money market, something like that. Now, the other aspect of it that I find that I think is so beneficial, the older we get, and unfortunately, we're all getting a little older here, you start thinking about legacy planning. And I don't think there's any better way to protect your family, have a legacy, leverage your money than using overfunded whole life, IBC. And one of the biggest holes I see in most pilots' portfolios is protecting their family. If something happens to them, their, their family is going to be in a really bad spot and they don't even realize it. Or when they retire from that airline, all that, all that insurance they thought they had is gone. So infinite banking allows us to, to kill so many birds with one stone, you know, for, for, so, you know, cause it does so many different things. Um, and I think as I tell most of my clients, I know this is in your best interest and no different than you guys say, hey, you have to discover infinite banking. I know it's in their best interest. I want to lead them to that, that trough like you lead a horse, but I can't make them drink. At that point, they need to discover the power of this themselves. And uh, that's where I have you guys. Um, I was a listener on your show. You know, I actually listened to you guys. I discovered you guys as I continued to educate myself on infinite banking. And then at some point it was like, you know what? This works so much better when I have my my clients that are pilots talking to other pilots or other military, former military, because we 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 can speak to each other. We can relate. And at that point in time, I you know, knowing that that Dave was a, a Air Force Academy graduate, um, I reached out to him and I said, Hey, you know, here's here's what I have. I want what's in the best interest of my clients. Can you help? And of course, that's how I, you know, I got to meet Paul and meet Dave, and and here we are. Yeah. Hey Ryan, you <clears throat> you mentioned uh, you know the pilots that you work with. They have like a group a group life insurance policy, I suppose, much like SGLI, like we have in the military. So that vanishes when they leave the airline, they retire at age sixty five or or whatever. Um, typically, what do you see that amount? What is what is that insurance amount that they carry? Um, is it you know twice two x their salary, five x their salary? What is the typical group policy there? It depends on the airline um, and, and it's renegotiated a lot of times in new contracts. So there's some airlines out there that don't have any. OK, there's wow. others like Delta that's over, you know, I think it's one point one million now. Um, but where pilots get caught with their pants down is exactly what we're talking about is, you know, you don't want to go out and try to get insured when you're 65. No. Or even even over 60. You don't want to do that. Right. Well, guess what? That group policy is going to go away. And. If you plan for it, you can be way ahead of the game. The other aspect, and I and I try to educate those airlines that still have pensions. So we're talking about a FedEx pilot or a UPS pilot. Um, so many people are geared towards taking the survivor benefit, that 50% survivor benefit of that pension should something happen. Well, guess what? If you leverage and use it, uh, overfunded whole life to do that, you have a much, much better benefit. And it's just numbers. It's just math. It takes a little bit of planning. Um, and that's another reason why this this uh, concept and what you guys do is is so powerful.